Hello, hello, I hope you are well. Today's episode of Allison's Eats is a little different because I wanna take you through our fridge and show you all of the staple items that I love to have prepped and ready to go. I have found it so incredibly beneficial to have these items chopped and ready and easily accessible, especially having those healthier nutrient dense options on hand has just been key to helping us fuel our body with the good stuff because when I get to the point where I'm so hungry and so low energy, the last thing I want to do is have to chop a ton of different veggies or cook. So I love to just have these items ready to go. So I want to take you through the staple items like I mentioned. And then another thing I love to have on hand is some kind of easy recipe that's in the fridge and ready to go for lunches. So typically we will have some sort of soup in the fall and winter. I make a soup every single week, but now that we're getting into the warmer months, I've been leaning more towards veggie pasta salads or veggie sandwiches. So I'll dive into that a little bit more at the end of the video and we will be making a roasted veggie orzo to have for quick lunches during the week. But let's begin with those staple produce items. We're kicking things off with carrots. We love our carrots around here. They're packed with fiber and vitamin A and such a great crunchy snack. I know they're not the most exciting, but they're great to have on hand to snack on, but also chop for salads or have as a side with sandwiches. And I love to dip them in some creamy Caesar dressing or hummus to really elevate them and make them more stimulating so these are great and then also celery we love celery and for the past few months i've been keeping our celery in a jar with water and this has really made a difference i heard of this a while ago but then i never really implemented it but it definitely helps the celery keep its crispness which has been wonderful and in the past my celery has actually become frozen whenever i put it in the back of the fridge so this helps with that aspect as well but we love our carrots and celery and so does Palmer, so we like to share with him as well. And then I also love to have bell peppers on hand. Of course, they also have tons of different vitamins and health benefits and potassium, but I also just love the color and flavor they add. So at the grocery store, I typically pick out one of these tri-color packages so we can get the color variety and then it's so fun to have that pop of color for your salads or on a veggie sandwich. So. We love our bell peppers. And now for our onions. Who cares about onion breath when you're eating healthy, you feel good, and your food tastes delicious? We do not shy away from onions around here. We love to have the yellow onions chopped and ready to go, and then we love to use those for eggs. So we'll have a pan and add some olive oil and onions and bell peppers, and then crack the egg on top of that for a little omelet situation. And then our recent obsession for fridge prep has been pickled red onions. So through the years as we traveled and tried out all of these restaurants, I did notice pickled vegetables and pickled onions being quite a popular culinary addition. And I really do believe that these pickled onions, as simple as it is, it does take different recipes to the next level. And Brandon, my husband, he's even more of a fan than I am. He loves these things. He says he just wants to eat them plain as is but I love to put them on veggie sandwiches once again and on eggs on salads on veggie burgers pretty much every single meal we've been making we top it with the pickled red onions so the recipe is super easy to make I will link it in the description so you can find it there but I typically will make this every two weeks and what's really nice about it is that it doesn't go bad for two or even three weeks. I remember one time we traveled and it was still perfectly fine once we came home. So that's helpful. And to the vinegar and water mixture, I add in peppercorns and garlic, and it really just adds such a tangy and flavor boost to whatever meal you're making. And for the quick bite recipe that I'm making for this week, I totally think we'll be topping it with some pickled onions. We definitely love to keep leafy greens stocked and ready around here. I love to buy this container of spinach, like a big container. And I don't really make salads every single day, but I love to put them in smoothies, which I've been having pretty much every day now that the weather is warming up. So this is just a great way to get your greens in. And I personally find smoothies a lot more palatable than a spinach salad. Most of the time a straight spinach salad doesn't really sound that appetizing to me, but 
with a smoothie, you pair it with some frozen fruit and you can put a little honey in there to sweeten it up and it's very delicious, refreshing and goes down a lot easier. So I love to have the spinach mainly for the health benefits and then I also love to have some kind of leafy romaine or butter lettuce and this is great for sandwiches and just kind of more for a side salad and I prefer eating those even though they don't have as many health benefits, they still are great to have around. This is another newer addition. So this week I tried out pickled radishes. I was inspired by the red onions, the pickled red onions. And I'm trying to think, I feel like at a restaurant we went to recently, we had something, maybe tacos with pickled radishes on it. And it was really tasty and tangy. And radishes always remind me of my grandma because I never really had radishes growing up at home, but whenever we went to her house, she always had radishes for us to snack on. And I like, I like the bitterness personally. They're definitely not for everyone, but I thought this would be another fun thing that we could pickle because apparently we're big picklers around here now. So this is another great thing to try. Now let's talk about fruit. I think fruit is a lot more delicious than vegetables, but of course, it kind of varies on the season with which fruit we keep in the fridge, but we always have pineapple. Every single week at the grocery store, I purchase two pineapples because Brandon is a pineapple lover. I enjoy it too, but he definitely is like, it's part of his ritual. He has pineapple every single morning. And it's, I think it's his number one favorite fruit. So we always buy two pineapples, the whole pineapple, and then chop that up, have that ready to go. And that's also a super refreshing snack and sweet treat throughout the day. So we love that. And then we typically have oranges and apples and grapefruits when they're in season. Grapefruits are one of my personal favorite fruits. I find them to be so delicious. And then I also love to have lemon and lime. So typically every other week I'll buy one of those big packets of lemons and limes and then I'll put half in the fridge and half just on my little daisy colander back there so that I have some more room temperature and then the others that are in the fridge, I keep them in there so that they'll last longer and they won't spoil. So that's kind of how I figure it out. But for the limes, I love to use those for, of course, squeezing on top of tacos, which we have quite often around here. And then I also love to put lime juice in smoothies as well and sometimes soup. So we love that. And then for lemons, we love to use those for smoothies as well and also salad dressings and our hummus, which brings me to our next staple item. And this is one that takes a bit more effort, but once you get in the habit of making homemade hummus, I feel like it's a very attainable thing to create because it's not too many ingredients and it is so, so delicious. And I love being able to customize it with spiciness and hot sauce and garlic and lemon. So it's really fun to make your own. And around here, we love to keep things spicy. So we're very generous with the hot sauce when we're making our hummus. So again, I'll link that recipe in the description if you'd like to try it out. And if you don't like spicy hummus, there's tons of great recipes out there for roasted red pepper hummus or garlic and lemon hummus. So again, you can really customize it and have so much fun with it. And the last item I wanted to highlight is bread because you hear me keep talking about my sandwiches I love to make and the tacos and the egg omelets. So there's two breads that we love to keep around. If you've been following the vlogs, you know I'm really into the sourdough these days. So we love to make a sourdough loaf and then freeze it and just have that in the freezer ready to go. And whenever I heat up our sourdough, I just pop it in the toaster and it heats up flawlessly from the freezer. So that just keeps it nice and fresh. And then I love these tortillas. They also are kept in the freezer, but I really like the texture and this brand has clean ingredients, which I appreciate. And so these have been great to have for breakfast tacos, which I've been enjoying as well as tacos, which is a great segue into our quick bites section. So again, if you follow along with the vlogs, this is something I've sort of harped on in the past, but I love to have some sort of meal just ready in the fridge that I can either heat up really quickly or just throw in a bowl while I'm having a busy work day or on the go. I just have a healthy lunch option. Typically lunch is where I feel a bit more scattered and I feel like I don't have the mental capacity to cook a whole meal. So this week, the lunch I'm making for us is a roasted veggie orzo. And this recipe is by the Instagram account, Healthy Girl Kitchen. 
and I'm so excited about it. It has a ton of veggies and chickpeas and a creamy hummus dressing. So it's seriously the orzo pasta of my dreams, but I also wanted to give you a few other ideas if that's not really your thing. We're gonna make this together, but I also wanted to share, we love to keep lentils and quinoa, and again, that makes a great wrap. And in the past, I've also made these fried chickpea fritters, and those were really tasty and a great salad topper, or you could even put it in between two buns and have a veggie burger situation, and it's a lot quicker to make than a whole veggie burger if you're making a black bean burger. So those are fun ideas, and then I love to have tacos. <laughs> I love tacos around here. So for those, I just have the black beans and onions and add a bunch of seasoning and just keep a Tupperware of black beans and then a Tupperware of rice or quinoa, and then you can make a quick little taco for lunch. So those are just a few ideas, but let's go ahead and make our veggie orzo. I love this orzo because it tastes delicious served either warm or cold and I typically desire a warm meal in the evening so I loved enjoying it fresh out of the oven but for lunches it has been nice and simple to serve cold and essentially all you're gonna do is chop all of the veggies cook your orzo make your creamy hummus dressing and combine so super simple there is a lot of chopping up front but thankfully this is quite a large portion size recipe so you'll be able to enjoy it for days to come Also ended up adding salmon to this recipe since I've been enjoying it lately and have been craving some extra protein and appreciate the nutrients it adds so that definitely made it more filling but another great option of course is adding chickpeas to this recipe for protein and you could even add other protein as you wish I still feel like I'm a novice at cooking salmon but I will link the recipe I followed in the description it was yummy with lemon and garlic so thankfully it turned out quite tasty Thank you so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it provided some sort of inspiration or ideas when it comes to food and fridge prep. I, it really has just made such a difference in our life having these healthful options on hand. So of course I wanted to share it with you all, but thank you so much for being here again. And if you'd like to see a pantry prep, let me know, or just like a detailed tour of what we keep in our pantry as far as different powders and snacks and all of that stuff. I can definitely do a video on that as well, but I love you all and I'm so thankful for you and I cannot wait to see you next. <laughs>